Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we made it to the town of Nipton to find out it was completely taken over by the Legion, and everyone sadly died. The end! Um, and we also started making our way towards Novak. Anyways, in this part, we're going to hopefully make our way to Novak and get there before the sun rises towards the east. Or on the east. I don't know. And we also had these guys have the worst aim in history next to me. But for now, we are going to continue down our way through the road with our good trusty iBot Eddie. Kill some people, steal their loot, and sell it for a profit. More rats? Eh. It's fine. As long as I don't go near them, they won't attack. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. What's not okay is these other dots ahead, because I get a feeling I'm going to be ambushed. Thought so! Zap, you're dead. There are so many decapitated corpses in this so far. I should probably keep a count of it, but probably the count would break by the end of the LP. Fresh pair. Tire iron, I'll take it just because. And, oh great, we got Legion. Mm, and they're overlooking a base. Hold your tongue, wait for don't tell me what to do. I'm a free man, damn it. You know what? This actually looks like a pretty well defended place. It's got it's got good cover. You can't sneak up behind because of these tall mountains. The only way in seems to be through the front. You got these little lookout locations. This seems like the place that no one could take over. Ranger Station Charlie. So this is one of the NCR's outposts. Nice. Let's Stop in and say hi. Give our support for the men in brown. Oops, sleepy time. Shh. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the, these guys. This seems like a pretty good location. Nothing's ever going to happen to them. Why do I feel a cold chill all of a sudden? Hey, would you look at that? We discovered Novak. We finally made it after God knows how many episodes so far. And everyone is already gone. Lovely. Uh, hello, sir. Can we? Can I spare a moment? Gathering junk's not the most exciting work. But it's a living. I guess. If you want to live that way. Miss, miss, uh, can I have a moment? I need an interview. What can I do for you? Do you have any medical supplies that I can get? Yeah. You. Laser pistol is the best medical supplies ever. Well, I guess you could use it to cauterize the wound. You just have to be very, very, very careful with where you shoot it. Cat's Eye, Doctor's Bag, Fixer, Hydra, Jet, Purified Water, Rad X, Rad Away. Not run into a whole lot of radiation, so I don't think I... Actually, do I have any Rad Away? It's never too much to have some on hand. I do not... You know what? I'll take the Rad Away. I'll also take some Stim Packs. Two Stim Packs. Just drain energy cells. And that... That's pretty much it. How shall I pay you? Why, how about a poison gland for rad scorpions? Some yeast? Some scrap? Pre-war money? All the things I don't need in life? You're a doctor, so uh, you could use a few syringes. Hmm. So 10 millimeters, so 9 millimeters, so the... I saw this machete. All these machetes. 
can still fix that up with the other plasma rifle. So I'll be throwing spears, I don't need them. Tire environment rifle. That seems about it. Another satisfied. Thank you very much, Doctor. Now, why don't we head our way into this little little area? Maybe we'll find someone who can help. What the? Hmm. Odd. Hey, look who it is, our old buddy Victor. How's it going, buddy? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. And what are you doing in Novak? Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Oh, you too? So am I. So what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. But you're a robot. You don't have skin. You have servos and computers and microchips and what the hell am I talking about? Well, it's nice to see a friendly face. Someone who isn't trying to blow my head off with a sawed off. Likewise, friend. Likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Uh, how about some bed and some supplies? Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. All right. You said that man jumped me, we're heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Alright, well... Be seeing you. Take care, Vic. But the best place to start would always be to look in the shop. Because, who knows? It's not like I'm totally going to get myself killed, or I have to do any other mundane task. I'm depressed now. Hmm. Well, the shop owner's not home. You know what that means! Free loot! Let's take that. You really should get some security, fella. Hmm. What are you all looking to be for? It's the Wastelander. You gotta do what it takes to get yourself out and keep yourself alive. Uh, just the yoink, 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 yoink. So much loot. Eddie, did you just open the door? The f the despite the fact that, despite the fact that you have no arms, no legs, did you just open the door? Get in here before you get. Okay, get out before you get me caught. No one must know I'm doing this. Yoink! Yoink! Excuse me, yoink! And <gasps> could it be? Is it? It couldn't be. But it is. It's that gun. You know, that gun. The gun everyone talks about. You know, this may take a while. You know, I just realized something. Where the hell am I getting this radiation from? Could it be the vending machine? I don't think so. That was... odd, to say the least. Alright, why don't we just wait till the morning t so that we can get some... peak visiting hours and so that the shop owner will be here. I mean, 8 a.m. seems a decent time. Hello, good sir! Can I see your wares? Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. 
Uh, I'm looking for a man in a checker coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Uh, what do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Uh, tell me about these souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How did they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Uh, 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 yeah, about that. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rex. Oh, don't worry, I guess I'm the T-Rexes. I didn't say I bought them, I said I got them. Sure thing. Now, the Dino Bunny is actually very unique, and that, in the fact, is that it has two, count them, two unique weapons in them. The MF Hyperbreeder Hyper Alpha, which is the unique recharger pistol, and pra Praticana. I almost, uh, I always mispronounce that as Patricia. I don't know why, but it's the unique hunting rifle. This thing has amazing, upon amazing critical damage. The rifle is the anti-material rifle, which is actually the best sniper rifle in the game. But, yeah. Look at that price. I don't think I'm going to afford it for a long while. I doubt I'm ever even going to buy it, because it has a very low magazine size. Even if the... The, uh... Uh, critical damage is good. Got a Plasma Defender. I don't know. No, that's the Plasma Pistol. What is the Plasma Defender? Future me, throw it up on screen, will ya? Power Fist from the Gunrunner's Arsenal. Spiked Knuckles. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Got some stim packs. Not bad. Grenade Rifle. Lawn Barrel. Ch chessboard. I'll take those casings because you have no use for them. Laser Psych. Uh, laser pistol combat, plasma pistol, high energy ionizer. Don't have a plasma pistol, so sorry. Rocket souvenir. Ah, oh, missed one. My confusion. Wow, you do not have any good mods on you. Usually you have a lot of good mods on you. Usually you have a service rifle mod on you all the time. It's weird. Oh, well, I guess I can see if I can get as close as I can to get in Practicana. I doubt it. But, it, you know, it's always worth a chance of looking at. It's 16,000 caps. Well over my pay grade. But I got that gun, so... Not really having anything that can sell for a fair decent amount. So maybe I'll have to wait and come back. I could sell the self boys and all my stim packs, but yeah, no. I could sell my super stim pack. Hell no. Turbo. Eh. Open repair kit. Nah, nothing else to get here, so might as well cancel the transaction. We may come back and get that stuff, may not, who knows. I may do it with alternate characters, just to show them off. But for now, he said that a man named Manny would be manning the... the dinosaur mouth during the day, and it is during the day, so let's see if he's here. The hell? A soft loading sniper rifle, and then all of a sudden it just <laughs> out of existence. Hello? Pizza delivery? There it is again. Oh my god. This place is haunted! Ooh. Alright, let's. Let, come on. Stop messing with me, pal. I want to talk to ya. Where'd you go? Oh. 
Hello. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or do I get the feeling you're someone who would kill me so much as... If I so much as said hi to you? Well, who do we have here? Manny! I need to talk What's to you, on, pal. Man? I'm looking for a man in a checker coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Uh, I want to slap the stupid grin off his face. Hmm. I got a score to settle with him. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Hmm, well, what do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Why don't you deal with it? I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Uh, what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. All right, I'll see what I have to do about it, but I better be getting paid for it. It'd mean a lot to me. By the way, who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Are you on bad terms with him? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Well, what did you two argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. You were in a gang? Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. I see. You know... I did meet some cons. Right before they wanted to put a bullet in my head. You're not buying any favors with me. But you know what? I'm not racist against the cons. So, or, well, would it be racism? Or would that just be affiliationism? I guess that would be it. But whatever. What was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? No, well, then why did you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. You know what the hell happened at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Right. Well, I guess I'll go deal with that ghoul problem for you. Always have to rely on me. Always have to rely on the courier. Can't ever do anything for yourself, even if you are the town sniper. Well, my last 
My lucky laser pistol and me will have to go sort them out. But before we do that, we're gonna stop in this house first, because there is actually an unmarked quest that I can do. Look Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Oh, uh, how's how's business lately, Dusty? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. You know what's been attacking them? Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's doing this. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. The west side story? Who's here? What brings you here? Uh, anything you can tell me about who's been attacking the ranch? Well, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. Oh god, don't but when we finally mutant. got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Alright. Well, if we ever meet this... You know, for a second, I thought that was a cat sitting on top. It kind of did. You know, a mutated two-tailed cat. But I guess for now, we have to go clear out the Repcom facility of ghouls. So, let's go with the... Nightkin. Hey, buddy. I can see ya. I can literally see right through ya. Uh, you're not that invisible. Horns will help the bull. Voices say they knew that would happen. Alrighty, I'm just gonna slowly back away before you wear me as a second skin. That was weird. You don't usually see Nutkin out this far. But whatever, let's just head on to the Repcon facility. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any more Nightkin. Why do I feel another cold shudder going down my spine? This seems like a fairly well defended spot. You know, put it put the NCR up here. They can make this a nice little base. Ammo box? Ooh, a stealth boy. Nice. Probably gonna get some use of it in here. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh oh. Rebar club. I'll take it. I don't know what. I don't know if it's any good, but I'll take it. Looks like someone was living up here. Got a whole like a little campsite. Scrap, scrap, tin can, scrap. Foot locker, nothing. I mean foots. Lots of bottle caps. Eh. Eh. I hate this game. I hate checkers. I better play chess. And I just took the ashtray even though I didn't want to. Flavor fuel, nice. Bottle cap, also nice. Frag mines, I can sell those. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I can't get them. 
That was weird. Like, yeah, pretty much a good haul all around. Some more grenades. Could sell those or maybe use them. I don't know. Hi, hold up, Eddie. You doing well? That's good. Uh-oh. Get ready, Eddie. We got trouble coming ahead of... And that trouble is looking a little ghoulish. Uh, I'm a terrible person. Charge! Retreat! Eddie, cover me! Zap! Zap! You're dead. Whew. Barely a scratch. He immediately falls to pieces. Well, we're not out of the shitstorm yet, Eddie. Let's get a move on and hopefully figure out how we can kill all these things. Well, to be honest, I already know how to kill all these things. Just like that. Bang, bang. Right to the face. Maybe set them on fire. You know, burn the corpses. Keep, keep diseases out. I've got a lot of killing to do. Wait, who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, Smooth Skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Smooth Skin. Oh, I guess we actually got a ghoul who doesn't want to rip my face off. Where are you at again? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Again? Big room, metal staircase, east side of the building. Is that too many syllables for you? One more time! Ah. Uh. Stop. Oh, God. Nice shot, Eddie. Eh, so that's what a nightkin looks like. God damn it, Eddie, you scared the shit out of me. But thanks for sneak kicking out the guy who almost snuck up on me. Rebar club, but ooh, you got a stealth boy. I'll take that. It's obvious you don't need it anymore. Let's have a look see. Oh, hi. Oh, bloody mess is so awesome. Laser rifle, make fusion. You look like... S I don't know, did you go feral? Or did you just get killed by that nightkin that was over there? I'm guessing it was the latter. Dude, cola machine. I don't want the new cola, though. I want that sunset sarsaparilla. I need those stars. Oh, hi. <laughs> that was awesome. Hmm. Oh, found another dead ghoul. Well, ghoul wearing a robe. I mean, I've already passed a few dozen dead ghouls already. Another plasma rifle. Actually, you know what? I should probably start fixing that stuff. Plasma rifle. Laser rifle. Bottle cap. Laser rifle. Stim pack. Ooh, stim pack. 
Thank you. What was that? That sounded suspicious. It may have just been me. I'm just jumping at shadows. There's another body over there. Might as well go check that out. Uh-oh. Eddie, where'd you run off to? I'm so lonely. And there's zombies in here. Eddie, I need your triumphant music to give me confidence again. Bear trap. Well, I guess I know what killed him. Oh, God damn it! Thank you. Stupid doors. Stupid doors always pushing me around, man. Gotta fight the system. Gotta fight the power. Gotta burn every door I see. Also, runway. This way? Bathroom. This way. Another bathroom. Good God. What's with me and finding all the bathrooms? So far, so empty. Not seeing anything. And that scared the shit out of me. Eddie? Nice shot, Eddie. Uh, but we alerted the horde. Quick! Armor piercing! I just want to shoot one with an armor piercing round and that'll be it. Oh god. What could have knocked this off the tinges? Well... I guess I just found my answer. Two, three, four. Wow, four rounds of armor piercing ammo going into your torso, and you are still coming after me. Eddie? Eddie. I need you, Eddie. I need you. Thank you. I need you to take these rebar clubs off me. Thank you. I'll be sure to sell that stuff when we get back to the... the town. Who knows, maybe I'll actually have enough to get one of those unique weapons. <laughs> I doubt it. Alright. So, this looks like the location he wanted me to go to. Alright, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Oh, we can finally go in and meet whoever's been talking on the radio. But I think I'm gonna do that for ne next time. Because we, we've gone over the 30 minute mark. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna continue on through the Repcon rocket facility and hopefully figure out how to get rid of all these ghouls and also meet this mysterious voice who has been talking to us. See you guys next time. Later.